I've had the Galaxy S10 5G for a month now. Here's what I think. Despite not having 5G, this phone is quite powerful. It's fast, it's snappy, it does everything I needed to do and it does it quickly. The cameras are great. Of course, with any cell phone, low lighting is always a challenge, but with very little light, it can still get some decent pictures. Videos are nice and sharp. Using the depth sensing camera, it has the ability to do what's called live focus, also known as bokeh. It puts the main subject in focus while blurring the background. The challenge with this is when your main subject is moving, you have to keep them centered on the focus point. It also has telephoto, main, and wide angle lenses, so you can always get the shot. The depth sensing camera also allows it to come with this quick measure app right here, where you can literally measure how far away things are, how big they are. Samsung's One UI is uh, decent works pretty well. There were a few things I didn't like about it, but most of those I've been able to change in the settings, including the Bixby button. Under advanced features, the Bixby key. You can choose to be, do Bixby either with a single press or a double press, and you can change what a double press or a single press does. So I can actually change the Bixby button to open Google, which is really nice. You can see I have the night mode on. I like night mode because you're outputting a lot less light to your eyes, so you get less Eye strain, especially good at night. Has device care, all kinds of great features and settings in here. You can change all kinds of things. There's one thing I wish I could still change. You look at the top here where you have basically the notification bar and it's right next to the camera cutout. And that doesn't bother me. When it's in this orientation, I think it works quite well. You've got the area for your camera cutout and then you, you don't waste any of your screen space on notifications down below the camera because it's right next to the camera. The problem is that some some apps and some settings, they want to get rid of that notification bar and try to use that space as a display. In that case, the camera cutout does get in the way. I wish there was a way to set it so that the notification bar always stayed there and was always a notification bar. If you turn it sideways, you'll notice that notification bar went away. Where did it go? Well, it went up to the top and I can pull it down from the top. Why doesn't it stay over here to the side? still be using that real estate that right now is not being used and you wouldn't have to pull down to see it and even other apps it will put the notification bar at the top and take up some of that screen real estate your three buttons down here at the bottom your back button your home button and your multiple apps button they're still there and they stay there and i like them to stay there and this tall screen that you have here you'll have a lot of screen real estate for everything to run in but i haven't found a setting that will do that maybe there's a app in the app store. The other thing I wish I had on here that I had on my LG V20 that I replaced with this phone is it gave you the ability to have up to five buttons down here at the bottom. You only get three on this one because then I could have a button for screen captures instead of having to either swipe across the screen with my hand which doesn't always work because you end up swiping things across instead of taking a screenshot and then you have easier access to your editing features. The Galaxy Store does have some interesting apps in it that you can only get in the Galaxy Store. Some apps that you can get from Google Play, you'll find a, a version in the Samsung Store that says it's specifically for Samsung. I'm not sure exactly what advantages those give you, but I'm sure there's something. So another one I did was this Galaxy Wear because I got earbuds from Samsung for pre-ordering and I'm going to do a video about that next week about the accessories and things that I have and I'm even going to do an earphone comparison so stay tuned make sure you subscribe so that you uh, don't miss out on those and have fun out there can't use the big BP key BBD BD BD that's weird I don't know how you think that's a pipe fitting it's a shirt coat shoes no those are Crocs